Breaking news this afternoon, an event that was promising to draw hundreds to a hotel in Fort Mill has canceled. This after WCNC Charlotte started asking questions about safety. In fact, several viewers have contacted us over this past week expressing concerns over what they believe could have been a super spreader event planned at the Clarion Hotel in Fort Mill over the weekend. The uh, hotel just notifying us this afternoon that if they have now canceled that event due to safety concerns and potential backlash. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly has been working this story for us all day long. And Ashley, this news developing in just the past couple hours or so. But after you contacted several people about the story, right? Yeah, Vanessa, and that's really a big part of this story as well. We all know that these COVID-19 restrictions come from the governor's office, but who is in charge of enforcing them here at the local level? And that's really what we had to dig into today. Of course, it all started here at the Clarion Hotel, which sits just across from Carowinds and just across the North Carolina border in South Carolina. Now, according to the event's website, they had an event scheduled here for Saturday that, as you mentioned, would bring hundreds of people to the hotel. Uh, it described events as two party floors, shot rooms, and an event that, and in a hotel, I should say, that was sold out with overflow capacity next door at the Best Western. So that's when we began digging. Who is responsible for enforcing Governor McMaster's executive order? Is it even enforceable in a private property such as a hotel? We first reached out to the city and the mayor's office who referred us to county officials. From there, we reached out to emergency management because in South Carolina, there's no county health director. It's all handled at the state level through DHAC. So emergency management referred us to SLED, who told us, and this is interesting, SLED says any law enforcement agency in the state can enforce the governor's executive orders if they receive complaints that someone is in violation. So from there, we reached out to the York County Sheriff's Office. They told me they were aware of the event, but that their response would be complaint driven and the enforcement would be based on the complaint. Now, of course, as of this afternoon, just about 345 today, we did hear from the hotel that they have decided to cancel this event. Their website has since been updated, saying they will be giving refunds to anyone who did have a room here. But we're going to talk a whole lot more about that coming up at six. Reporting live in Fort Mill, Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte.